All right, what is up, Reaper team? So, I wasn't sure if I was going to share this video. It starts off kind of embarrassing. I'll explain why. But just to inform you guys, I have so many tuna vids still from the summer that I haven't even looked at. I mean, hours upon hours of footage, multiple double-digit yellowfin tuna trips. I mean, one, we killed over a 1,000 pounds of fish. It was crazy. Well, we caught a 1,000 pounds of fish. So guys, in years past, you know, in November, December, and even sometimes early January, guys are going out and chasing these migrating bluefin tuna. They're called ghosts for a reason, right? For the most part, guys were running and gunning anywhere from just a couple miles off the beach out to maybe 10, 15 miles. And I know guys that have done it for two months straight and made like five casts and never caught one, right? A lot of guys are a little more dialed in. But anyway, I never chased them. By that time, I'm typically done tuna fishing. I've had my fill and I want to kind of transition to stripers and tog. But this year was something totally different, guys. Out of nowhere, much more guys were going out targeting them, but specifically targeting them on the troll instead of doing the run and gun. So very unique for this season um, compared to most, at least to my knowledge. But I don't read too much about it or talk to a lot of the guys about it because, again, I just haven't done it. But we had gone out twice before. I went out with Dylan and Zach on the little boat, and the plan was to go out, try and find one, and then go tog him. We saw them, we casted at them, and they just didn't bite. And then we went back a couple of days later after a really hard blow. The fish were super close, me, Tommy, Dylan. We saw them, and we never had a bite. So I was just about done, and I said, you know what, guys, let's give it one more try. I had a hunch that if I could find them at a couple of different spots that I had in mind, if I could find bait, I thought that they would station there for a couple of days, and darn right they did. But we showed up, we had our first bite in three minutes, and guys, I pulled crimps. I haven't pulled more than one crimp, maybe two, in the 10, 11, 12 years I've been running my own boats. And the reason why is because I wasn't prepared, all right? I always say it. I preach preparation. I really, I put all the tuna stuff away. My mind transitioned away from tuna. And then just like that, we're going. And I was just kind of rushing around to get things ready and, and, and prepared. And all season long, I have these crimps calibrated for 130 pound fluorocarbon and what's called the LI crimp from Jinkai, which is right here, okay? I didn't have my 130 fluorocarbon that's here. Uh, I, I ran out of it, I guess, and I only could find this green label fluorocarbon. Um, so what I did was I used, and not only that, I didn't have any more of these LI crimps. So I got lazy and I didn't calibrate this tool for this specific fluorocarbon leader and the other crimps, which are really set for the same line line rating, but they're totally different. So um, that's why we pulled crimps, and it's just a, a good teaching point as to why you don't get lazy. Um, I got super lucky, and luckily these fish were not super line shy. We switched up from the 130 fluorocarbon to the 175, and my other dedicated crimpers for that line and leader, and we didn't pull any more crimps, we didn't break any off, and we went four for four at the end of that trip, or four for five, something like that. But I wanted to show you, Alana, zoom in here real quick. Guys, how, how intricate this can all be and how detail-oriented you have to be. So this is the leader that I bought. All right, show, show the diameter. The diameter there will be in millimeters, right? So what's that, like one point, what is it, 1.0 something? I have no idea. So it's 1.05. And look at this one, guys, 1.17. So just that little bit of change in diameter and change in crimps to my calibrated tool and we pulled and we pulled crimps and again I've never done that I'm embarrassed to share this video but we got it straight we went to old reliable stuff and we caught them so hope you enjoy this video see you. all right what's up y'all December 2nd we are on the big boat as you can see it's around 6 a.m. maybe 10 after 6 now go looking in for the bluefin one more time all right I went out twice First time I was kind of ill prepared, we were on the little boat. We found them, we cast at them. There were just too many boats, the sun was high. And I said, let's troll, because a lot of fish would be caught trolling. But without outriggers on the little boat, I really couldn't get an effective spread. Um, so I said, all right, let's go on the big boat. We went on Monday, it was the day after the full moon, and it was just so rough. Um, I had to leave late. By the time I got there, the life was kind of dissipated. I saw them briefly. I thought we were gonna get bit, because they were feeding. No one was around, but we never had a bite. Um, we found good strike, fast activity, but not what we were looking for. So hopefully third time's the charm. Uh, weather looks okay, it's rough. Right now there's remnants of a, a south wind swell, but I'm running north. So uh, we're gonna run north as the sun starts coming up high. I'll look for birds. Um, these bluefin 
bit of a theme on sand eels, but they're very much so moving fast because they're migrating down. So it's really kind of pattern from what I've been told. It's finding the birds, finding the, the fish that are actively feeding, and just freaking pound that area. So that's the plan. All right, guys, just getting our spread set here. So we're going long rigger ballyhoo, short rigger with a Ronzi, and I'm gonna put one out the middle. Did you really? Yeah. Don't forget, they could be stripers. Yeah. Oh, that was the Ronzi or that was the ballot? It was a crib bank. No. Well, now I'm second guessing every other crimp that I have out there. Did you forget to crimp it? Huh? Did you forget to crimp it? I don't think so. Hold here, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was. Maybe you just forgot to crimp it. Maybe. All right, guys, we got bit right away and uh, crimp pulled. I don't know what happened. I don't know if maybe I forgot to crimp it or something. I don't know. It's, I haven't had that happen in a really long time. We on? Oh, we're on. Oh, he's off. 0 for 2. We just got another bite. Oh, my God, guys. Two blue fins. Look. Hey, pull that, reel this all the way in, please. I don't have anything else rigged. Oh, I cannot, fuck. I'm gonna be sick, Zach. I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick right now. Yeah. I don't understand, look. Mm. That one that it's not, it's the same. Oh, okay. oh did it just pull? Yeah. Just start reeling. Hey, start reeling. I think he pulled off. We're hitting it all out bite. Let's see if we can't. Let's see if we can't kill one. I have no confidence. Alright guys, we are really struggling here. More than I've ever struggled tuna fishing, uh, so I don't like being not prepared. Um, again, I tested out a new crimping system. Probably shouldn't do that when there's bluefin around. Oh, for four, guys. Wow. All right, guys. So yeah, the thing about bluefin tuna is um, everything has to be perfect. Um, I'm literally nauseous right now. Uh, I've been working so much, rushing around. I kind of just I didn't have the right crimps, and I used those other crimps, and they seemed to pull just fine. And obviously. It's, didn't work so um, um so it is what it is nothing i can do about it we got four bites we pulled crimps on three and broke one off um i don't know I'm, I'm gonna be sick hopefully we can get one we will see it seems like there's a good amount of fish here let's hope i didn't miss our opportunity so we will see keep it kind of like right there oh my god we're double baby we're doubled stay glued huh oh did we lose one no he's on okay Yours on, right, E? Okay. All right, guys, we got two on. All right, okay, we got one on. All right, guys, this is our seventh bite. We're on again. Uh, this one, I think, is on 175 fluoro. So let's see. Got him on a 50. Got Zachy down there. I'm going to try and actually get his turn down C, and uh, we'll see. I'm just trying to stay calm here. I really want this one. Uh, I'm so nervous. Uh, what else? About it. Just keep the boat in and out of gear, keep tension, stay calm. Uh, what else? I've killed so many bluefin over the years, but literally never one in December. Never a fall ghost, you know. Uh, it's crazy. We've had seven bites, um, and I just stink today, but hey, it only takes one, baby, right? So um, we will uh, we will see. Just stay calm. Zach's getting the harpoon ready just in case. Uh, yeah, we're way into the back, and so it's tough. It's pretty rough out, so. Um, it's kind of hard to keep tension on them. I think the other ones we pulled up because we had we had them so way way back, you know. So um, I think that was I think that was kind of part of it. So we will see. All right, I think I remember how to do this now. Just out of practice, me, dude. Zach, we haven't trolled since I don't even know when. How big does he feel, Zach? Feels good. Pretty big, right? 
Yeah. You ready? Yep. Push forward, Chris. I'm gonna hand it off. If you feel him slacking off, you just come to hit it. All right. Gotta keep that rod straight up. Yeah. Angling. Grab it. Grab it. We need a break again. Right, let's go. Need, your, need your fresh for the end game. Yeah. Right now, okay. A little bump, but you're right. He's yeah, coming up top. There's leader. There he is. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Look forward. Okay. We're almost to the leader. All right. Some of you guys that do giant fishing up north or other parts of the world are probably laughing at us here. Um, the reason why we're throwing the harpoon is we want to get better at it for our larger big eyes. And then Zach and I have kind of delusions of grandeur that we're going to go down to North Carolina and maybe start giant fishing in the winter. So. Um, the more that we are able to throw the harpoon and get used to using it, the better that we're going to get, right? So, um, don't make fun of us too much. Forward, Chris. I'm going to just take a shot here. Good. You pull him up, eh? Good job, boy. Oh. Get him. Get no, him. no. You get him. Right there. You got him. You got him, right? Yeah. Oh, oh. Right, stay. Good stick, baby. Oh. Oh. Lower the dress. That's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here it comes. Okay. 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 Just come over here, Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, I think the dart line actually came out. No, it's in him. Is that him? Kinda. Just need another gas. Go ahead, you're good. I got him. Daddy's coming. Daddy's coming. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> you're going over yes! to the door. Yes! <laughs> I never wanted one so bad in my whole life. Yes! Ready? One, two, three. Yes! <laughs> never wanted one so bad in my whole life. <laughs> yeah! After all that fuck up. <laughs> ah! Seven times a charm, baby. Oh, sorry. Seven. Seven. <laughs> Seven times a charm. We got 18 of them. Yes! Touch the little son of a bitch. Yeah. He's not that big. No. Pretty bad. He's a nice one. Dude, good job, bud. Hey, he swam up and it just missed under, just under him. It's so cold. It's so cold. Sorry, baby. I need it. I was trying to hook that swivel. I thought he was going to take the whole basket. Yeah. Dude, he took off. That was cool. He's not that big. No. He wasn't going anywhere. Go kill, uh, go kill some stripers. Sorry, mate. It's probably close to high 50 inch class, I would think. You know? Third fork length. Right there. Like 55? Probably 55. 55, 56. Yeah. Not a monster, but that's okay. Yeah, that's what they've been getting. Yeah. There's a monster. Zach's dart shot came out the one side and look. Right through his vitals. Look, Zach. You're right in his cavity. Look, bud. Came right through his inner. I did that on purpose so it would be easier to get out. Yeah. And it's perfect. We'll get a couple good pictures for you. December tuna, baby. I sure as heck tried everything in my power to make it not happen, but we made it happen. I suck today. Just goes to show preparation's key. I've been working like a dog. I tried something new. I got lazy. And uh, it certainly didn't work, but we got lucky here. Yeah. I knew we'd get one. Never doubt. Ready? Oh, there it is. Sideways, ready? Seven. Hey. I can't pick him up. There you go, get his head. <laughs> you can't get him. We'll get a good fork, fork length. Get him, A. All right, ready? Photo. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to go heavier here. All, all 175 fluoro. We'll try and um, maybe release one here, just kind of horse them in on the 80s. So, play tag and release. All right, guys, just like that, we're on again, baby. Yeah, stay tight. That didn't take too long, huh? 
That's crazy, dude. Okay, baby, we're good. Can you grab me a, uh, oh, I'm okay, I'm good. Hey, can you grab me a glove, bud, please? Right there, yep. Thanks, bud. I'm good, I'm good. I think he's pretty tight, knock on wood, so far. This is fun. Come out here, easily kill one a day. The only thing that would kill this is a big temperature change or if the boats came. No, this one feels big. You got so much line out too. Yeah. All right, hey, give me a hand, bud. Yeah. I might need a hand. All right, Zach. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm good. I'm good. Zach, give me a little forward, bud. Okay. And hand me that glove again, bud, please. Okay. Hand me that glove again. Yeah. That's weird fighting out of there. I'm good. So as of now, we have just the one swivel rod holder on the big boot. Uh, we may end up adding a few more on the off season. Dude, we'll I can't see. imagine fighting a giant, Zach. I can't even imagine. This is why we bought these damn rods. All right, slipe up. Okay. Here. All right, he's got, I got leader right here. Okay. It's pretty cool in the 80, you can really kind of beat him up. We got this fish to the boat way quicker, you know? Yeah. All right, neutral there, bud, hold on. Oh, what, Starboard forward, just a bump, starboard forward. Okay. Okay, neutral. Woo. I think this one's a little bigger, actually. Oh, look at him go! Look at him, yeah! This one's bigger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's bigger. All right, can you grab your gloves? <laughs> 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 oh, it's fun when he pressure's off. Grab the grab the who head. Yeah. Try and swim him, okay? Try and just actually hold him a little bit, and we'll try and swim him. Yeah, maybe let. Oh, dude, he wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, maybe let a little slack. Let a little slack. Got. I got. You you stay back behind me. All right, so what we ended up doing just slow forward in and out, get that fish nice and revived, and then I pulled him over right to our. Um, our tuna door popped out the hook without removing him from the water, and he's kicked off just fine. Beautiful, awesome release. Okay, watch yourself. Coming at you. Good job, bud. Ready? You yeah, swim out of here. Swim out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Do, <Dude>, baby. Yeah. <laughs> ah, we're double, baby. We're double. That's one. Ah, it's two. We're double, baby. Hey, try and go over me. Go way over, way over, way over. You sure, Zach? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. We got another boat right here. They're tight. We're tight. Everybody's tight. <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good. Crazy. Yeah, keep just keep cranking, keep cranking. You're doing good. Woo, look at him. They're mean, huh? Yeah. See you later. Did you see him? Yeah. He said screw you. Okay, neutral. 
Okay. No, he's big. Did we just get a third bite? I think we just got a third bite. We just got a third bite on the Ronzi. All right, neutral there for a sec. No, he's, yeah, he's, he's not that big. He's over, he's over 47 though. He's over 47. All right, so we released Eric's fish yeah. and then we let Zach play around with the one I was fighting. Good. How fun is this, dude? Oh my God. Dude, there you go. Now ready, you'll use your chest to make it not swivel so much. You know what I'm saying? You're good. All right, guys, that's on our 80. Our custom 80 to 130. Pan 80-wise is our fourth fish today. Insane. Good job, A. Perfect, bud. No, he's big, this one. Yeah. Just let me know if you want me to lead him a little bit. Boom. Damn, I want to throw one. Wait, is this a Bally Hill or Ronzi? Hold on. That's the Ronzi, right? No, there's two Ronzi's out. I think there's a Bally Hill, yeah. Oh my God, he's big. Meanie. He's a meanie, dude. All right, just a hair forward, eh? Oh, that's the biggest one. That's actually the biggest one. Yeah. All right, neutral, bud. Neutral, neutral. All neutral. right, same thing. Also, we, yeah, you know, swam that fish next to the boat, got him nice and revived over to the tuna yeah, tour. He got a good Just dunk. reached in, pulled out the hook, didn't get him out, <laughs> out of the water, and gave him a nice little dunk there. He kicked off just fine. So that was a pink five ounce Joe shoot and a white Ronzi. Good anymore. All right, a little forward, bud. There's your Ronzi, baby. Yes. It wasn't pink, but I'll take it. I'm absolutely soaked. That's number four, baby. Four for nine. I might jump in. I might jump in. <laughs> I might jump in. I don't think so, man. I'm already soaked. Dude, I'll turn that. Is the water working? I'll take a hot shower. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll throw 130. We're heading home. Um, we really didn't see anything we got super excited about on the striper front. Uh, they were there. He probably could have trolled them. I don't want to do that. I want to get on some crazy jigs, on some crazy jigging action. So if we see something great on the way home, we'll stop. Um, if not, super pumped. So we will see. I heard it was dead off Atlantic City. Uh, it's super foggy. So at this point, we basically just kind of have to run them over, you know. So we'll see. Check this out, guys. A whole flock of seals. I've never seen so many. Those are all seals, eh? Really? Yeah. Look at them. Hey, fellas. Look at them. Pop their little heads out. You guys probably can't see them, but those are seals. How cool is that? All right, y'all. One last uh, fuel up here. Really cool. This is probably going to be the last fuel up of the year. Reaper got it done today. Although Captain Chris did everything in his power to mess it up for the crew. Never messed anything up so bad in my life, but hey, it's okay. She looks cool in this angle. The old girl still got it, I think. see the, the normal like dark of the bluefin and then look at the belly meat how fatty it is in a different color it's like blue and tan. crazy it's uh, around the reaper household it's it's christmas you know i'm kind of a humbug but the wifey gets nuts every year we got you know do they have the names on them i thought we used to have them no we're not no oh they used to yeah. say 
they used to say all the cats' names, but anyway, okay, here we go. So, a couple nutcrackers and whatnot, but... You're supposed to fix this nutcracker. Guys, this is the fattiest tuna I have ever seen. Like, it's so greasy. Um, it's probably because they were... My buddy Craig made a good point. They've been feeding on Bunker for so long, and I guess they've also been gorging themselves on sand eels. It's like, it's insane. Check this out. Hold on. So now, this is... This is the Toro, which is like the prize, prize of it all. And I mean, it's just like, I mean, I wish you had oil vision. Is that a word? Is that a word? Can that be a word? Oil vision? No. Here's another piece of Toro. I mean, just look at that. We're going to make a little sushi out of that. It's just like so greasy. And then this is all, this is all just right from the rack, guys. Check that out. Just all right from the rack. It doesn't get any better than that. Look at that. I usually have it a little more better looking than that, but it's okay. It doesn't get any fr like cleaner than that. Like literally, it's from the, the like you take the loin off yeah. and then you scoop it out with a spoon. Oh, God. Like right off the rack of the yeah, yeah. of the fish. So it's it's yeah, never it and then we'll make some sushi out of that toro. We've got my spicy tuna concoction going there, jalapeno, cucumber, scallion, and what's that called? Avocado. Avocado. Yeah. I, what is it? Avocado. Oh, yeah. Me amo Chris. Me amo Alana. Mucho gusto. Right, that's nice. To, yeah. Nice. Cuanto cuesta este... No. Cuanto cuesta ese pescado? How much is that, that fish? fish? Right. <laughs> um, me amo Chris. Yo quiero... Uh, no, si, no, yo quiero vende... I want to buy. No, sell. I'm sell, going sell. to sell um, uh, multiple mas, no. I want to say, se vende mas pescados. More fish. No, many fish. And then, can you help me? This is when we move to Costa Rica. And I want to. Yo puedo. Yo puedo. No. Me puedes. Ah, you go. There you go. Can we, you help me? Yeah, that's right. Bendy. Oh, look at that, guys. Let's go. Super pink. We're going to eat a little of this for the appetizer. I want to found the orange one. You know, orange cat. The orange baby. one? Oh. All right, leave him alone, poor guy. I know. We don't like so, it. So, it's absolutely, this, this tuna is just beautiful. Look at it. Oh, my God. Look how pink. Look at that, guys. It's, just, it's beautiful. So, probably use this to make some spicy tuna. And then, there's just so much... So we'll start with that, but look how beautiful that tin is. Oh my God. Start chopping this up I'm nice and fine. Okay, I'll get all that, guys. It's okay. It's a little bit of mayo. And I don't measure this, guys. Just like, I'm Italian, all right? I just do it by kind of do it by feel. So then guys, I use a little bit of this. And a little paprika. Hey guys, there's my spicy tuna, nothing to it, baby. Let that cool off a little bit, okay. Damn, that's good, isn't it? Look at that, guy. It's nothing swimming a couple hours ago. All right, real quick, so that's the, kind of the top loin meat. And then that's the belly Toro meat. So this is like the prized, like when you go, you know, to a sushi restaurant and you order, you know, the, uh, the Toro, it's, it's expensive. But what's the Atlantic City joint right there that we used to get? Is a Kaya. And we would order Big Eye Toro. Right, it was, it was And it's really like, expensive. I mean, it's like 75 bucks a roll or something, right? It's like something exorbitant. Not 75. It's a lot though. It's the most expensive roll. It's the most expensive yeah. roll. And this is Bluefin Toro, so. All right, let's get the roll. Here we go. All right, so spicy tuna, avocado, scallion. Spicy tuna, jalop. Spicy tuna, avocado, scallion. Spicy tuna, jalop. Okay. And then the third one is spicy tuna with cucumber. All right, and then the fourth one is going to be spicy tuna, avocado, and jalop. Hey, Slick. What's 
She's doing handsome. What are you doing, Bubba? Say hi to the world. Hi, Rambo. Hi, Rambo. Well, he's had a rough day. She didn't like it. By the way. Oh, yeah. That's just a thing. Yeah. Oh. It's pretty awesome. Okay, we're eating, mate. All right, guys. So the first roll we tried is the is the Toro. So, man, this is good. This is like what you go to Japan. It's the most sought after roll. The the bluefin Toro meets from the underside of the of the fish, the belly. And uh, you see, it's a lot pinker than the other ones. What do you What do you think, hon? It's like. Oh my God. Like melts in your mouth, actually. It's yeah. like super rich. Um, but when we get a, like a swordfish, a fatty piece of swordfish, it's almost like it's too rich, actually. Or I've had bluefin meat where, at least when I cook it, I don't like the taste. But when raw, oh my God, that is unreal. I'm trying the other Toro one. I think this is it. And we paired that one with avocado. So it's like super rich. The mm -hmm. first one. Yeah. Good. That's good. What's this one? This is Toro, Avocado. And Scallion. Oh, this has everything. Toro, Avocado, Scallion. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, my God. It's good. That is... Really good. That's legit, y'all. That is legit. That is so good. That's the other one. Yeah. Spicy tuna. All right. Try that one. Avocado. Man, that is yeah. so good. It's getting to the point where I like my sushi better than when we go out, for sure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think it's way better. Mm-hmm. Really I know who caught it. I know when it was swimming. I know whose hands touched it. Yep. Pretty good. So? Can you see Elf on there? I think cool. No, he's not in the picture. It's a boy. Yeah. And he came for us. Past the scene of swirly, twirly gumdrops. All right, guys, we're done. I'm going to stop filming. Let's yeah, get uh, eat let's get eating here. Alana's got a robe on. Yeah. That's it's time to go. I love you all. God bless. If you can, hit that like button. Subscribe. It really uh, means a lot to me. It helps support the channel, and I appreciate it all. And I appreciate you all. Uh, so every year I do this. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy New Year. Happy Bladed Thanksgiving. Happy birthday. Happy what else? Happy Three Kings Day? Isn't that sometime soon? I don't Whatever. know. Happy all of it. I love y'all. See you. <laughs>